going on everybody it is august 14th 2023 it's monday had a nice weekend uh did a little bit of yard work got a lot of rest it was a good weekend so that was nice but we have a txv to put in this morning and a i think it's a ream or a rude it was a couple weeks ago i diagnosed that we just got the parts in um but yeah yeah bad txv we're gonna um, hopefully pump the system down if the system will allow it if i remember this one right i think it's um it might be slammed shut so um might not let any refrigerant back but we're gonna try to pump her down anyway um if we can pump her down it'll be a lot easier so we'll get that txv changed out we'll get the new one in uh new filter dryer we'll be off to the races all right notice our pressures here When I originally looked at this, I thought it might have been low on refrigerant. So I added about a pound and then I realized, okay, this thing is not low on refrigerant. We have another issue. <clears throat> so we're gonna try to attempt to pump this thing down and remove filter dryer and TXV. All right, notice the tapping. You'll get that in a low refrigerant condition. And hopefully we, we pump down all the way. We'll see. All right, we're trying to pump it down, but not with very much luck. So I'm going to pump it down as far as it'll go and then shut both service valves. Yeah, see the compressor starting to raise hell. I'm going to shut both service valves and just recover the coil and line set. All right, we'll let it recover the line set and coil and then we'll get busy. close now we'll go ahead and shut the pump off and we're going to just bleed off the rest of this that way we're not drawing any um any air in or pulling ourselves down into a vacuum. Just a little tiny bit left. Hey guys, I just wanted to hop in real quick and say I've just recently opened up uh, Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal accounts for Jeff's HVAC Adventures YouTube channel. So um, if you want to support the channel, um, send what you can there. Um, Cash App is um, Cash Tag Jeff's HVAC Adventure, PayPal at Jeff's HVAC Adventure, um, and Venmo at Jeff's HVAC Adventure. So send what you can. I really appreciate it. it really helps out. Um, YouTube really doesn't pay that much. Um, the check at the end of the month, it really isn't. Um, a whole lot so you know really I, I just do this for a hobby anyway but you know getting a little bit extra cash helps out I can put it right back into the channel um, can purchase things um, I uh, can purchase a new phone which I desperately need uh, for, for shooting videos um, you know the iPhone 12 I'm using is okay but uh, it doesn't have very much storage so my next purchase for the channel is going to be an iPhone 14 or better so um, I'm trying to raise some money for that but um, just watching the, the videos all the way to the end, that supports us too. So, um, all right, guys, let's hop back into the, um, the TXV. But I will real quick just throw up um, uh, a little poster right now of the cash tags. Thanks, guys. All right, here is our TXV uh, bolted here, external equalization and then sweat in right here. 
and bulb mounts externally out here. Not too bad. Actually, it's bolted down here too. So there is no brazing as far as the TXV goes. Just the filter dryer. So that's good. All right, so if we notice here, this TXV is different. This one is sweat on this side. Yeah, it's different. So we're gonna have to probably solder a piece on before we put it in so it will match up to our piping because we have a nut here on the old one. We don't have a nut on the new one. Mm. All right, got something to deal with here. All right, <clears throat> I got my TXV just kind of hanging here so I can make this breeze. Uh, I bent a 90 and um, I got it packed in the thermo trap. Great stuff, love using it. So we're going to get that brazed before I put it in, try to make that a little bit straighter. See the bender only bends, but so far, um, so much of a radius, because then I had to cut a lot of it off. So I'm gonna try to bend that a little bit further. If that's the only radius I can get on it, fine. I'll have to make up for it um, by pushing this up further, but should be okay. All right, I'm gonna braze this on. All right, breeze looks good. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll take our putty back off and get it mounted. All right, we're brazed in, looks pretty good. Got this hooked up, we're gonna put it on pressure and make sure everything holds. Still gotta hook up the bulb. this back in there secure everything make sure it holds good all right putting pressure on her now and eh, this tank's almost empty we'll see what we can get in her though should be enough to do a leak at least a um pressure test if i can get 150 or so out of it that guys i almost forgot to put the filter dryer on Oh, let's braze that in real quick. All right. <clears throat> well, before I forgot to put the filter dryer on, I did have about 200 pounds on it. <clears throat> blew, blew that off, sweat in the filter dryer. So we got about 133 on her now. And she is dead empty now. That's been sitting for a couple minutes. Let it sit for a couple more. And we'll get started with a vacuum. All right, guys, we got the Scorpion UVC-LED disinfectant system. It is the LX15. This is the low voltage model. This is pretty state of the art here. Um, you can install it in many different applications, different ways. Um, you could do two of them here if you wanted to with uh, with this N or, or M style coil. Um, you could put it right in the middle of the coil, on top of the coil, um, behind the coil, and inside the coil. A bunch of different ways here. I'm going to be installing this right inside the return. Um, what's awesome about this, though, it's magnetic. So if you have metal 
to pull it on, sticks right to the metal. Bam. Now, like I said, man, that is hard. That's a hard magnet too. Good God. Um, I wish I had a magnet to stick it to on this one, but this is like an N style coil. So I wouldn't, and I only have one of these, so we wouldn't get the full um, protection just uh, sticking it to, to metal and my ductwork is not metal either. So um, we're probably gonna drill a hole and install this. Um, just need to drill a small hole, probably a three quarter inch. We'll read the direction, see what it is. But um, uh, going over a little bit of the features on this. So it has off, on, and cycle. What it has is um, it has a sensor in it that senses when the fan comes on, it will turn the light on. So I think that's how we're going to set it up. Um, or you could have it on all the time. You choose. And it's just a simple flip of the switch here. On, off, or every time it cycles. Standard 24 volt powering. Hot and common. Very easy to install. Um, yeah, great. So we're going to go ahead and install this today. Get her knocked right out. All right, guys. So this is the coil I was talking about. See, this is an N style coil. So, and there's not a whole lot of room to even install two of these. So what we're going to do is, matter of fact, we could install it right here if we wanted to. We would have to cut out some of that insulation. No, I think we'll just drop it right, right down in the top of the return here. But like I said, it is magnetic, so um, you know that's that's pretty pretty sweet being magnetic. If you have metal ductwork or the metal cabinet of the unit, it'll uh, it'll hold right there, and it, and it's a strong magnet. I mean that thing was not budging. So actually, we're just going to cut a hole right in the top of the return here and just drop it right in, and um, and tape it up, and we should be good to go. We'll wire it up. Good. All right, there she is in the ductwork. Top view. You know, I might not even have to tape this down. Just leave it. Just leave it sit there, or just at least push the mounting hardware in there. All right, we got it. Jump to R and common. Easy enough. Wire comes across here. Lights right there. Easy stuff. All right, we got it off right now. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the power. And we're gonna be careful not to look at it. She's definitely on. And we're gonna set it to cycle. So it only comes on when the system's calling. And it's as easy as that, guys. Pop it in, two wires, set it where you want it, done. All right, there it is. Easy as that, guys. Probably the easiest UV light to install, by far. And it would have been easy, even easier if I had something to, um, something magnetic to hold it. All right, guys, here's what we got. Now, it is really hot up there. It's like 87 degrees. That does seem like a pretty high suction pressure, though, especially for such a low uh, subcooling. Yeah. We'll watch in a couple minutes, but... And I might need to follow up on this one once it cools off some up there because this is all out of whack. We might need to adjust that TXV. It's just hard to do when you have almost a 90 degree space. Because that TXV is gonna be wide open for a while.
Uh, I think I came to the conclusion I might wait for it to cool down up there and come back in a couple days to make adjustments. Um, suction line temperature is coming down. It is cooling. Um, it, I did go look and see if I could maybe adjust that TXV. I couldn't get the bottom cap off. I'm going to have to look into that a little bit further because I'm not exactly 100% sure if that is an adjustable TXV. Well, I'll find out about that, and if it is, I'll make adjustments to it. Um, but like I said, I just tried to get the bottom cap off. Couldn't really get it off, so I kind of gave up on it for now. Um, I'm just going to wait until the space gets down into a um, reasonable temperature, which will probably take hours. Just went up there, started off, it was 87 when I got here. It's down to 86 now, so it's going to take a little while. Probably come back in a couple of days. But we'll finish up here. So it seems the TXV is metering though, because my superheat will go way down, suction line temperature will drop, subcooling will go up. So our TXV is metering. And now it's closing back again. Sorry, opening. It is opening. It was closed and now it's opening. All right, guys, just left that one there. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna follow up on that one in a couple days. Um, let the customer know that the dispatch will call them, get them. Uh, get them on the schedule just so I can follow up when the house comes down to temperature uh, I told them to of course call me if anything happens but you know when it's when it's almost 90 degrees in a space it is almost impossible to get a proper refrigerant pressure reading uh, your superheat and subcooling is going to be a lot different when it's 72 up there than when it's 90 up there so um, we just gotta give it a give it a day or so let it uh let it stabilize, let it get down to temperature, and we'll go back and check on it. You know, easy as that. So, if nothing's wrong, it shouldn't take too long. So, but uh, let me know what you guys think about that uh, UV light, the Scorpion LX15. That is the low voltage version. They do also do have a high voltage version. Um, man, I don't think I've ever put in a UV light that was that easy to install. And I really wish I could have. Um, uh, use the magnet feature on it because that would have been even easier. I mean, super easy. Um, yeah, great uh, and a uh, great UV light protection. So um, we'll see how that holds up. That's the first one I put in. Uh, New Calgon sent me that uh, to try. So um, and I just uh, I gave it to the customer. I didn't charge the customer anything for it. I just uh, installed it while I was pulling a vacuum. You know, the installation process took me about 10 minutes. <laughs> Uh, pretty easy and I had to cut a hole in the in the ductwork so um, very easy install so very very cool there um, but looks like we got another call to get to today guys so uh, let's go on yeah I did do other calls today but they weren't very YouTube worthy so um, this is gonna be the end of this one guys um, yeah uh, I had some uh, I did do a little bit of footage I, I try to film a little bit of every service call but sometimes it just ends up where they don't they don't end up very interesting or it seems like they're aimless. They have no point. <laughs> so um, I do have a bunch of stuff saved in my phone, but a lot of it, like I said, it really, um, really is not very interesting. I mean, it might be interesting to some people. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a, um, a montage of just random <laughs> HVAC happenings. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Please don't forget um, to like the video and subscribe. And if you can donate, um, Cash App, um, Venmo, PayPal, I'll put the link or the cash tags down in the description. If you can, just give what you can, guys. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think about the LX15 Scorpion by New Calgon. I think it's a great UV light. And um, it is a lot cheaper than a Remy Halo. Um, just the standard Remy Halo is about 430 bucks. 
That one, um, the, the Scorpion, is about 300 So a lot cheaper, a lot easier to install. Um, so, and Remy Halo even has an even more expensive one now. I think it's called the Remy um, LED, whatever the hell it's called. I, I, I don't know. But um, I would put this thing up against the Remy Halo any day of the week. So uh, as far as price point, ease of installation, and uh, UV protection, can't beat it. But all right, guys, um, that's it for this one. Catch you on the next one.